half wave rectifier. Let's take an AC source, attach to it an ideal diode, we'll call this ideal one. And let's put our load resistor here, R sub L. And the question is, can you tell me what that voltage cross R sub L? We're looking for this voltage. If you were to measure that, what is VL is going to equal to? First, if we make the assumption this is an ideal diode, what does that mean? If you recall when we did our approximations for a diode, that's your first approximation, we said an ideal diode will have a value of zero current going through it till the voltage hits zero. Once the voltage is a hair above zero, current will go through that. So the, if you're watching the current through that, it will look like this. It will look like the green color that you see there. This is the voltage, and that's the current. So once the voltage cross this, this is the plus and that's the minus. Once this end is just a hair over zero, current will go in that direction. No current is going to go in that direction if you reverse that. If this voltage is higher than this, the current is not going to go through it. So let's look at our source voltage. What does it look like? So if I put these, I can do two lines here and show you both at the same time. So if the source voltage were called Vs here, so this is Vs versus time, it's a sine wave. So let's mark these points down here. So if this is an ideal diet, then once this is in forward bias, once this voltage is more than zero, which is in this case here, what you see right here, this is going to behave like a short circuit. So your circuit, it will look like this. This is short now, it's like a wire connecting that. But that's only true when this is in the positive end of this. So in this section, in this section, that's true. Which means these guys are in parallel, they will have the same voltage. But what's going to happen when this is negative now? When this value is less than that, well, current is not going to go this way. The current's only going to go through this diode in this direction. So when this actually goes to negative, like in this piece, that voltage here is going to be zero because there's no current going through that. And we know Ohm's loss is the voltage here is equal to the current times the resistor. If there's no current going through it, that means the voltage is zero. So my output will look like this. And that's why it's called a half wave rectifier. You can see you're only seeing half of that signal. You're not seeing all of it. You're only going to see it when it's positive. If I reverse the direction of this diode, if I take it and I turn it backward, then you're only going to see the negative portion of it. So I'll do that again. So if I take the same circuit here, but put the diode backward now, And this is Vs here, the source. If you watch that using the same logic, I'll make it uh, twice here. So this is Vs and this is Vl. So if this is what your source looks like, I'll put a few of them here intentionally. Let's mark these. Okay. 
Again, what's going to happen here? Now, when this one is positive, like this end, that end has higher voltage than this end. If that end has higher voltage, current is not going to go through that. And if current's not going to go through it, that means the voltage here is zero. So right here is zero, right here is zero, and right here is zero. What happens if when this voltage is negative? Well, if this is negative, it's going to make that end higher than this, and current will go through it this way. So this becomes a short circuit just like before. And if it has a voltage of zero here, you need a zero voltage to go across that. Then the voltage here is going to be the same as this, and your output will look like this. The same height as these numbers. Again, you're only seeing half of that. It is called a half-wave rectifier. Now, what happens if your diode is not really an ideal diode? If I use second approximation, it's going to modify that just a little bit. First approximation, we said we're going to treat the diode as a short circuit with the voltage cross as zero. Now, let's look at second approximation. The same circuit. And there's the diode, and there's our Sabell. In the second approximation, we said we're going to treat the diode just like the ideal one diode with straight line current going up there, but it doesn't happen till you reach 0.7 volts for silicon. That's the VNE. That's the voltage required to actually allow the current to go through it. So if we do that, this is where my current will look like, straight up there. So once this voltage is actually forward biased, You need at least 0.7 volts right here, plus to minus 0.7 volts to make this one turn on. So as long as this voltage is below 0.7, nothing is going to happen. So let's say the 0.7 is right here. This were the 0.7 volt. So now if I drew lines coming straight down where the 0.7 volt is, and you watch that, your actually voltage is going to be here, VL is going to be this minus the 0.7. So when this is 0.7 here, right there at this point, so before that is zero, right here is zero there. Right here is zero. But when this voltage is more than, when it's 0.7, what's 0.7 minus the 0.7 here? This is actually going to be a zero. It's going to look like this. So if the peak value here is, let's say, 5 volts, this will not reach 5 volts. It will be what? My peak value is going to be 5 minus the 0.7 volts. So adjusted by 0.7 because this one needs a 0.7 volts for the current to go through it. And that's your second approximation. We treat the diode as a short circuit, but with the exception of what? A or a voltage source with zero um, impedance there, or zero resistance. So we're looking at that circuit, this is what the circuit will look to me. And a voltage source here, 0.7, So if this is Vs, then this voltage here will have to be Vs minus the 0.7, the difference between them. 
So that's why you can see each one of these values here dropped by 0.7. When this was 0.7, now it's zero. Where this was five, now it's five minus 0.7. Where this one was 0.7, back to zero. Right here, this dot is not on. You need actually 0.7 or higher on this end for the current to go through it. So right there, this dot, actually nothing going through it. There's no current, the voltage is staying the same. Right here repeats itself and nothing is gonna happen till we hit the 0.7 volts, this goes to zero. The five, this goes to 4.3, the 0.7 back to zero. And now you know what half-wave rectifier is.